All right, so what we have here is I actually have a piece of plexiglass and I have a piece of half inch uh, MDF. Both of them are for the top of the cyclone separator. And what I've done is I've drawn an X on it, found the center, and I'm going to drill through that with a two and an eighth inch bit. And this is a Forstner bit, and this is for the um, PVC pipe for the central vac pipe, central vac tubing that we're going to use here. All right. Cool. Now we have to cut the PVC tubing for the cyclone top. Um, it's going to be sandwiched in, you'll see in a minute. And my first cut is uh, an inch and a half. And then the other one was a little bit bigger. It was an inch and five eighths. All right. We'll cut those off and just use like a regular saw, just your regular saw or a back saw and just try to cut smooth and straight. Alright, so central back tubing and the couplers are all PVC. Alright, so what we're going to do, so I'm going to take off the protective cover off of this. Now, take the PVC glue, cement, contact cement, really. So, put that in. Take your PVC, your central back tube, jam it in. Alright, now, it's going to fit over here. We're going to take our next piece. Right out liberally. And put that down here. There we go. Now, this is for the top. to sit inside the cyclone. And your vacuum will go on here. Now, the other thing that we need we need an elbow off of it, so uh, <laughs> do some more PVC cement. This will go over here. Okay. And it's going to go on a 45 degree angle. towards the corner. Alright? And that's it. That's the top done. Nice and simple. Now, I have chosen some PVC so I can show you guys how this all works on the inside and I think it will be pretty cool. But, I also have the MDF, which is what you're going to use on yours, most likely. It's cheap and, and uh, works really well. Alright, so now we've got our two cyclone tops made. And they're still going to move around a little bit, so there's, good, there's a bit of an air gap there. So we're going to fill that up. I'm going to use a little PL premium. All right, so I'm just going to work that around, just like your coffee. All right, so now we're going to work on the bucket. And what we're going to do is we're going to put in a sawdust window. So we've got my piece of plexi that still has its plastic cover on, and we're going to put that in here. So what we're going to need to do is cut a window out along here, put the plexiglass in, and then that way you can see inside and see how full your bucket is. What was it? It is an inch and a half wide and an inch and a half from the top and an inch and a half from the bottom basically. And that will be our slot. Alright? So we'll cut that out. Alright, so what we're going to do here is we're going to dry set the plexi. So we're going to shoot some holes in here on the countersink, and we're going to go for a bigger bit so that the plexi doesn't break. 
So what we have to do is go for a bit that's as big as the shank of our um, screw, right? So we'll take those and take that off. We'll drill through them. So now we're going to put the construction adhesive on. I'm using PL Premium. And what we do is we'll just use a caulking gun. And we'll put our plexiglass on. Make sure you line up your holes. Alright, so there you are. It's a finished product. So that one will seal it. So the uh, little maintenance vacuum. And then we'll build the rest of the box. Alright, so now we're going to make the rest of the box. These are 12 by 12. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tack them together with the brad nailer first. And then, after, I'm going to add a couple of screws for extra strength. Alright, the last thing that we want to do to our uh, dust bucket is add a little bit of weather stripping around the top, and this will just uh, be there to promote a bit of a seal uh, in between the cyclone and the dust bucket. Alright, so I'm just going to use a little bit of weather stripping here, put it on a 45 at the corners, put it in nicely. These are self-adhesive strips, but after I'm done, we are going to staple them as well. You know, your staple gun, and just throw in a few staples. Make sure that they stay in place. Alright, so what I've done now is I've put on these draw catches, and what you do with those is you put them on and then that way it just pulls it down a little bit so it seats nicely. So that will make sure that there's no area that gets sucked in here and backwards into the, the system. So these are actually called draw catches and I got these ones from Canadian Tire. And then what I've done at the top, this is my plexiglass one to show you what's going on. So what I will do is uh, on the top here I have two tops, I have one for the other one. So along the, on here probably, what I'll do is I'll take some caulking and I'll just put a bead of caulking around it and then I'll smear it off and smooth it off with, uh, you know, like a putty knife or whatever. And that way it will act just like having some weather stripping, but on this top one, I don't want as much pressure on it. I want to put four screws in, so I have Drilled and countersunk four screws, and they're right in here. So this is ready to test. We've got to put our plumbing couplers on, and then I'll dig out the vacuum, and I'll show you how to uh, use it. We'll test it out. All right.